Ghana and what a way to start it. I am at the Independence Square. It's a blast out square. This is where Ghana had their independence in 1957. This place was actually built in 1961, but this is the ground that they had the independence. And this is where they light the fire. This is where they actually stood to declare independence. This is the podium, but now it's the place where they light a the fire on Independence Day. All right? So there's an old soldier over there. All right, come closer. Come closer. Let's see this. Let's see this beautiful surface over here. I already can go in there. So this is where they light the fire. All right. And this is how this is how the that I think I think I think Christ symbol the Jinyami symbol is over here. All right, Jinyami. That's only God. Only God can show us a way. All right. And that is um, the blast house square over there. So usually on the Independence Day or when they're doing the doing the um, integrating the president, this is where they have the uh, the celebration. So right here, and the blast house square. All right, let's build this old old studio here. So this is Ghana. When you come to Ghana, this is one of the first places you have to come. All right, Independence Square, Black Star Square. And then we have the Freedom and Justice. So we'll go there. The top is the Black Star, which is a symbol on the, the coat of arms. So we are going to go over there later. Let's see. Is there anything right here that we should know? You can be this. Uh, there's nothing significant over here to know. All right, so let's get a little bit closer so we can uh, get a blast out square over there. Oh, uh, come on. Make it big like this. Get the whole thing in. So in 1957, our president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, said, Ghana, alone us, your country is free forever. And this is where they did it, 1957, Independence Square. So this is the Black Star Square. This was built in 1961, right? So let's, let's get a symbol over here, which is very important, the freedom and justice symbol. Ghana with two eagles, the black star, it's a lion in the middle. Alright, and get the whole let's get the whole structure like how it is. Yeah, unfortunately we can they don't allow us to go inside. So I would allow to walk in and see how you know the view from there, but we can't have access to that. But it's, I said this is the Gulf of Guinea right over there right over there um and you know the, the castle the former castle used to be over there inside. but um let's come it's nice nice breeze so this is the back of the blast star square uh which many people have been seen so I guess I mean the view there to the sea is beautiful but we can't that. This is how it looks like. Last South Square in Independence Square of Ghana. This is how it is. Let me zoom see if you guys can see the the castle over there. This is how it is. I see this this is like an undisturbed water so there from here goes to the stretch all the way to labadi beach teshi that area all right it's uh, the atlantic ocean or the gulf of guinea for you okay so we've seen it so we are at the black star gate 
which is an iconic landmark in Ghana. This is part of the Black Star Square. This whole area is called Independence Square. And this is the Black Star Gate. This monument was erected in 1961 from the visit of Queen Elizabeth II. So now, just follow me. I'm just going to show you this part of the garden over here. There's a fountain. Um, now this place needs some TLC. It's free to get in. I think they should start charging so they can use some of the money to do some maintenance. So this is a fountain. If it's functioning, um, you know, it, it adds some beauty to the place. All right, so we're just going to walk around this park before we go up the monument uh, to see the blaster in person. So the address to this place is 128 February Road. And this is a very significant day in the history of Ghana. You'll be asking yourself why is the address 28 February? Well, 28 February in 1948 marked the beginning of the Accra riots. This was a, a protest marched by an armed air servicemen who were agitating for their benefits as veterans of World War II which led to three of their leaders being killed by the police which marked the beginning of the process of the Gold Coast becoming the first African colony to achieve independence. Ghana went on to achieve independence on the 6th of March 1957. The riot led to the arrest of the Big Six on the 12th of March 1948 which included Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, the first president of Ghana. The view from the top of the Black Star Gate is so beautiful. I mean, you can see the ocean, the arch, the park, the stadium. There's um, a Crossport Stadium next to it. I think they should charge for people to go up here. I mean, they will use their money to really maintain the place. Welcome to the Asundia Park. All right, we are at the Asundia Park. This is a monument in honor of Dr. Arthur Mills. Uh, the former Professor Arthur Mills, uh, the former president of Ghana who died, I think he's, he's the only president who died in power, right? Okay, so there we are. It's called Asundia Park. Asundia means peace, and he was a very peaceful guy, um, very peaceful president. All that he thought about, he preached about is peace. So. That's why they, they called this place Ashwindia Park. Let me see. You. So this is, you know, some of the stuff that is gonna go here. In all your endeavors, remember that honesty, integrity, humility, and hard work will always open doors for you. All right, that's President Arthur Mills over there. So he's a man of peace. That's why this place is called Asundia Park. So Asundia in Ghana means peace. All right? Humility. All right? So these are some of his quotes. I have no apologies and regret to offer if they say I have turned the castle into a prayer camp. I wish the whole Ghana was turned into a prayer camp. So I guess he was a devout Christian. Like the colors you know it makes the place look colorful green with orange you know the kind of flag behind with white we'll go you know, we'll, we'll get to his monument over there but let's just get some of his quotes i do not care who ox is called when it comes to the fight against corruption all right so he was all about fighting corruption which is a kind of sign in our society I mean, Let's get more of his quotes. I mean, I like the like to hear what this man was about. Okay. As people, we are bound together by the uniqueness of our cultural heritage. National Festival of Arts and Culture. This is 2010. Have you been to the Asundia Park yet? If you haven't, it's just in the, well, in the I think it's the Osu area. Not far from the former castle, not far from the Black Star Square. So this is the newest attraction. I think it was open 
uh, maybe somewhere last year right um, so if you ever doing a tour of monuments and landmarks in Ghana check out the Asundir Park okay it's a nice place to walk you know just come see um, a monument of one of our ex-residents uh, let's see this might be the UN Assembly. So Ghana's democratic credentials stand tall and we intend to keep it that way. This is the sixth section of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. All right, so there we go. So he's laid, the body is here, right? Yeah. All right, so he's, he's, you know, he's laid instead over here. So this is his tomb, okay. Ah, so this is the burial ground for him. Um, I know what those signs are there for. Right, so be gone, unbelievable. Okay, all right. So let's let's go check uh, this monument out here. I mean, this really resembles him. Those who know him, this is like whoever did this thing did a great job. I mean, this is like this is the guy. All right. So, this was unveiled by His Excellency and now the Dankwa Kufaru, the president, president of the Republic of Ghana, and assisted by Samuel Koku Anideho, who I think was his press secretary. All right, July 24th, 2022. But this really, I mean, hats off to this, to, uh, to the sculptor who did this. They didn't put his name over there, because this is, a, I mean, this is, to have a, a sculpture that looks like, you know, the real person is like, I mean, we, 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 I've seen some horrible sculptures, so this is this is really Mr. Arthur Mills, President Arthur Mills, and it really looks like him. I mean, the guy did a good job. If you know whoever did this, you know, just let me, let me know. I'll put his name out there because it is believe. All right, so now let's go. This is where he was laid in. Red. He's been laid uh, in state, and uh, there's a tomb. So, all right. John Evans Arthur Mills, Friday, July 21st, 1944 to 2012. So I met Dr. Mills, I think we took a flight with him, 2011 from Washington, that's when I really met him. I uh, was a cool guy, um, you know. Yeah, I think he was there for the UN conference and we happened to take the flight from Washington. So we are at the Organization of, of Africa Unity um, place over here. And this thing, uh, this symbol here, look at that. Let's see. So we're just gonna go around it. Well, we start from Ghana, definitely. Freedom and justice, All right? Let's do Egypt, Somalia, Central African Republic, Unites, Ignite, Travail. Oh, this is in French. So, Guerrero. Okay. This is Somalia's, uh, I guess, coat of arms. Egypt in Arabic my Ghana freedom and justice definitely all right Republic of Cote d'Ivoire which shares the border of Ghana it's a francophone country Cote d'Ivoire is an elephant uh, their soccer team is called the, the elephants so and this is Uganda for God and country okay Benin the capital is Kutunu, I, I, I believe. And it's a French country. Pretending this is Travail. I think Travail is, is I think French is means to work. 
Travail or something like that. Okay. Malawi. Morocco. Shiny Star of Africa. All right. Chad. What's the capital of Chad? Is it? Unity Work and Progress. Okay. Unity. You need travail progress. That's unity, work and progress. That's in French. Chad. Tanzania, Uhuru. This is Gabon. So again, we are here at the Organization of African Unity um, Center over here. Sierra Leone. Unity, freedom, and justice. I guess most of the African countries, everything is unity, freedom, and Republic of Mali, Republic du Mali. Mali, that's Bamako, the capital. Well, this is, and I've always seen this here, but every time it's closed, and I didn't know we can come in. So thankfully, we asked, and we, you know, they brought us here. So this is a place um, that you want you come to Ghana, add it to your itinerary. Okay, come check this out. It's interesting to see all the African countries being represented here. This is Congo Republic. Niger. And people say Niger. No, it's Niger. It's French. Niger. Republic du Niger. Okay. Nigeria is different. This is Niger. And Algeria. North Africa representing. Cameroon, West Africa. Yeah, so it looks like the, the coat of arms, you know? Oh, am I right? Okay, if I look at Cameroon. And this is Togo. In Chinchim, this is uh, an Edekra symbol. The Edekra symbols are some symbols that are uh, in... They are Ghanaian symbols called the Edekra symbol. This is one, one of them. In Chinchim, Oh, so these are all the different symbols. Okay, all right. Akuma in Toso. Uh, something to do with the hat. Um, uh, Funten the Funten the Fufu, then Chen Funifu, right? Funt Fun Funtun Funifu. I have to find out what this means, uh, but these are the symbols. Aquafina, these are like salts, right? Uh, but, uh, these are like the salts used for the canes, no? Okay, Aquafina. Jinyami, this is like Holy God, right? This is one of the symbols on our, on our currency, no? Jinyami? All right, so Holy God, like, you know, Holy God can um, tell us what it is, right? So God decides, basically. And Konson, Konson, these are like like change around the neck, maybe like you know the, the slave the slave trade era, the, the, you know, the change they put around their their legs and the necks and concern concern. So that's what it is. And Sankofa is one of the most popular symbols you can ever find, right? Like you know going back to your roots, Sankofa, right? Basically, you don't know where you're going until you know where you're from. So it's not late to go back, uh, Sankofa. Fihankra, I don't know what that is, but at least it's a part of the of the uh, adding. The Fihankra symbol symbolizes an enclosed or secure compound house, a symbol of brotherhood, safety, security, completeness, and Bean solidarity. Kebi. This is the B in Kebi symbol, just mean no one should bite another, like a symbol of justice, fair play, freedom, forgiveness, unity, harmony, and avoidance of conflict. This is the continuation of some of the African countries with the coat of arms. And this is Tunisia, the capital is Tunis. It's Burkina Faso, which shares the border of Ghana. The capital is Ouagadougou. It's unity, progress, and justice. Most of the French countries have, you know, the unity, travail, this work, progress. This is Mauritania, Republic of Mauritania. That's Senegal, the capital is Dakar. Uh, this next one is Sudan. 
Uh, Sudan is going through a hard time right now with uh, wars over there. So shout out to Sudan, capitalist cartoon. That's Nigeria. Capitals Abuja and Libya. I think Libya is Tripoli. Now let's see which one this is. This is DR Congo. Justice Travel. All the French countries have Justice Travel. Travel is French for work. This Madagascar. All right. No, the movie Madagascar. This is the country of Madagascar. <laughs> so next, we have Guinea. These are two Guineas. I think you have Guinea and you have Guinea-Bissau in Africa. So. And there's Burundi. You need travel progress. Like I said, the, Afri the French countries, they still have this slogans you need travel progress this is things it's not unity which country is this one or oh, Kenya Nairobi I mean Kenya is known for the safari and it's Ethiopia Addis Ababa So it used to be Organization of African Unity, but now it's called AU African Union. So this is a symbol here. I think the lights comes out in the night time. So it's a place that if you come to Ghana, all right, uh, it's not far from the Jubilee House that's the seat of the president. And it's also not far from the stadium over here and also the um, Independence Square.